And under liquidity, we have the ratio current, so our current ratio. And again, our ratio gives it up. <laughs> okay. Ooh, sorry about that. So let's just take a step back. I wanted to highlight it. Again, current. Keyword is current. So our ratios give it up for us. So the ratio is equal to current assets to current liabilities. Of course, you're going to get this from your balance sheet, yes? Liabilities. And you want your answer to be in the form of x comma x so usually they say round off to one decimal place but it's question specific so if they say two decimal places it's two decimal places but it's usually question specific okay it's to one please read your question properly for this okay and as you can see you always want your current assets to be greater than your current liabilities so this always needs to be greater than your current liabilities so you would want a ratio that is like two is to one which means for every liability you have two assets to match it or the value of liability you've got for one rand in liability you've got for example two rand in assets so you always want your assets to exceed the total value of your assets to exceed the total value of your current liabilities current assets current liabilities emphasis on current current so we're not looking at total sorry about that so definitely not total assets and again not total liabilities okay but you never want it to be as high as for example five is to one and why is this because current assets talk about things such as trading stock yes it talks about your small things your consumables it talks about money so you never want it to be high like four is to one because that means you have a lot of stock on hand so if it's five to one, it means you have a lot of stock. And if you have a lot of stock, it increases the chance of it going off and then having to be written off it, it becoming obsolete. Going out of fashion. Um, technology changes and it doesn't keep up with technology changes. So then stock is then written down. Changes. Another reason could be stock that is too high in quantity could possibly lead to stock getting stolen and again we don't want this so we don't want a ratio that is too high we want it to be balanced like two is to one three is to one at most as soon as it exceeds that it's a bit worrisome why do we have so much 